Ngaji Gurujan, we welcome you to our annual general meeting. Today we can share the work we've done over the last 12 months. In 2019, the Yaru Corporate Group has spent our time working on our corporate structure and enterprise development, supporting the work for our community, culture and country. Yaru is a vital part of Broom's development. Our aim is to empower our people and have a sustainable future in line with our Yaru values. For the Yaru Corporate Group, 2019 has been a year of change with planning and development at all levels. We have continued our corporate restructure to better position ourselves for growth and development. However, our fundamental purpose remains the same and we continue to support our country, law and culture as well as improving the health, housing and education of our community. Over 2019, the Yaru Corporate Group have worked hard and each of our three boards have met regularly and have also come together for all board forums twice this year to work on the high-level organisational direction. Yaru is proud to be a joint winner of Category A Indigenous Governance Awards. We were recognised for embedding our Marble Leon philosophy in contemporary corporate governance. The completion of our Leon Ngan Nirua Cultural Wellbeing Centre has been a real milestone this year. Endent, NBY's joint venture construction company with HM Tracy, completed their construction on time and under budget, employing more than 25 Indigenous contractors and trainees. The building has been awarded Best Public Use Building between $5 million and $10 million at the 2019 Kimberley Pilbara Building Excellence Awards. The language, cultural and hippie staff moved in in February and are enjoying their new workspace. The official launch in June opened the doors to the public and we hosted the event in our garden surrounded by Yaru artworks embodying the spirit of Lian. The venue is a welcoming and state-of-the-art facility for commercial hire as well as community events. It has been busy since the launch and has hosted events for local businesses, government and NGOs. The Marble Mai Cafe has a unique broom menu and style and is supporting local Indigenous people into work with events and hospitality training. The success of the organisation continues to grow. There are a number of significant milestones, uh, but I want to address uh, in this very brief time the question of where we're going. Um, we've been through a, uh, a number of restructures in the organisation, trying to position it so that we can start to work uh, more strategically in terms of uh, building up our business and commercial capacity so that we can generate the level of revenue required to sustain Yaru's business. A lot of that depends upon uh, who we have working for us but also a lot of it depends upon the unity and the solidarity and the, um, the purpose that we have in our communities. We anticipate that there will be uh, a number of key projects that will be coming to an end over the next 12 uh, months, 12 to 18 months, that will be of enormous benefit uh, and these uh, outcomes will be as a result of the investment that we've put in. Our equity and investment team is focused on sustainable prosperity through development, investment, partnerships and joint ventures. All projects are underscored by Yaru values and work is conducted in line with our strategic plan to become more self-sustaining. We are developing agriculture, tourism and aquaculture projects with a range of partners and we are securing opportunities for other ventures including the Broom Homemaker Centre. Indent will be engaged when we begin work at the planned Broom Health and Wellbeing Campus on Clemenson Street. There are risks, there are always risks associated with taking on a new strategy. Part of that risk is uh, being able to get the community to work with us to understand that these are necessary changes where we need to position ourselves for the future. Nyambaburu Yaru has a good relationship with the state government, which helps us to ensure positive and sustainable economic development for Indigenous people and the wider region. Importantly, we need to continue to have the support and work in partnership with the community. Our Community Services Unit supports Yaru families throughout the life continuum. Over the year, Nyambaburu Yaru hosts activities where our families and community members come together. We encourage people to connect with the community and enjoy events such as those held at NAIDOC Week. This year, our Mabo Yaranganga Language Centre has been supporting school language programs and new language teachers. They also hosted the language party event for the Corrugated Lions Festival of Words and presented at the National Pulamo Conference in Darwin in August. 
Shinji Matsuri had free Yaru language lessons every day, and they have recently hosted a language workshop with Living Languages with participants from other indigenous language groups. Nyambaburu Yaru has three trained hippie tutors who support 24 families to be their children's first teacher and assist them as they start their school years. The tutors and families have regular meetings and picnic in the park catch ups that support parents. Nyambaburu Yaru's Youth Engagement Officer works with agencies such as Headspace, Community Housing and the Kimberley Suicide Prevention Trial Working Group to raise awareness of issues and the regional Kimberley context. Yaru is also proud to have assisted six young people in the Yaru Youth Scholarship Fund this year. For young people, Nyambaburu Yaru has two programs that support them into sustainable employment or training. Nyambaburu Yaru delivers the federal government's Transition to Work program, which helps young people find sustainable work or training. And this year, the Warmajala Morgolai, Rise Up to Work, pre-employment program was established for Indigenous people who want to gain skills and get into the workforce. A sundowner in September with the Broom Chamber of Commerce and Industry showcased both programs and successful participants and created good connections with local employers. Housing is an important issue for many families and Yaru's three housing programs supports tenants along the housing continuum. The Housing Reference Group encourages people to actively participate in issues that affect tenants. They met three times in 2019. In August, Engineers Without Borders worked with both housing and youth teams at Nyambaburu Yaru to develop concepts for a youth accommodation hub. Our environmental services team works across the entire Yaru estate with Mabuburu as the underlying philosophy. On the Indigenous Protected Area, our country managers look after Gumranganjal, Roebuck Plains, and during 2019, they have been occupied with fencing, fire mitigation, monitoring the wetlands, and the sustainable grazing regime. Other land management activities are undertaken in collaboration with the DBCA Yaru Ranges, the Roebuck Plains Station Management, and the Broomshire. They've also been involved in Goanna monitoring for a University of Sydney cane toad study across Northern Australia, as well as feral animal control and monitoring endangered species. An exciting proposal for a fenced wildlife sanctuary is being developed and a visit to Mulligan's flat in Canberra showed how an Indigenous-led sanctuary could boost conservation work, research and tourism for Yarra and Northern Australia. The Indigenous Saltwater Advisory Group, representing saltwater groups in the West Kimberley, is a respected model for Indigenous-led engagement and has developed partnerships with state and national marine science institutions, implemented research protocols and developed research priorities on a regional scale. The Women Country Manager team has welcomed a couple of new members for its Monsoonal Vine Thickets project in Minyard Park, in partnership with Environs Kimberley, the Shire of Broome and TAFE. Damaging fires in August impacted the area, but the team is determined that the revegetation work will continue as well as their seed bank and propagation. Minyard is an important ecosystem and is well loved by the Broome community, highlighting the importance of their work. For the Native Title and Heritage Team, some projects are reaching conclusion. There have been other negotiations with explorers, including Sheffield Resources. Yaru continues to oppose fracking on Yaru country. The joint Bidamangan Native Title claim has now been registered with Ningana, Mangala and Garajadi. The new Lian Centre also provides more space for the cultural team at Nyambaburu Yaru. As respect grows for Yaru's place within the heritage of the region, there is increasing demand for services such as cultural immersions and smokings. Welcomes to country are also incorporated into many public activities and events, and it's been great to see some of the Wallalunga graduates stepping up and taking on this role. The Mangara team now has museum quality archive and working space for projects and storage for important artifacts and heritage items. In the Lian Centre, you will see elements of the Bugari Gara Nyodang because of the Dreaming exhibition. The entire story was mounted at the centre in June with a collection of over 50 Nulu objects, artworks and panels exploring the themes of Yaru life through the cycles of seasonal change. Some of the exhibition is on display in the Nyambaburu Yaru foyer and panels are rotated according to seasonal changes. Mm -hmm.
The Yaru Cultural Reference Group has met five times in the last 12 months. They advise on environmental or cultural projects for Nyambaburu Yaru and for external proponents and ensure meaningful engagement and integrity that respects Yaru cultural heritage. Their work is highly valued on the Chinatown revitalisation and town beach developments, as well as advice on environmental and cultural questions. In April, an emotional journey to Europe was undertaken by a delegation of Yaru and Garajati people, and the remains of 14 ancestors were brought home from German institutions. The Wangajali Borogun We Are Coming Home repatriation project ensures other ancestors held in institutions, including the British National History Museum, can come home. This is a really important project that recognises the significance of our complex history within the story of colonisation over the last two centuries. We will establish a memorial resting place that will have significance for the whole community as a site of reconciliation. We continue to seek funding and support for this significant project, including an exhibition and a documentary film to share our story with the nation. We look forward to sharing the progress with you. Gala Mabu for your support from all the Yarra boards. I hope that you have a uh, good afternoon today. Um, uh, what we really need is for, for very serious consideration about where uh, the successes lies for all of the Yarra people. Um, so I wish you well in the AGM this afternoon.